Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. did it we're back are we here all right we're back we're here we're here we're back we're in the motherfucking building dude i've i've done this will be like my i'm not bragging obviously about how much podcasting i've been doing but this will be like my six hour of podcasting this week starting the hour six of podcasting this week (laughs) wow dude dude it's prolific you're a prolific podcaster it's crazy dude good for you what was the best one this one dude they all were fun they all so far they've all been you always go man i'm gonna my my essence is going to find, I'm going to reach the bottom and be all spilled out. It's you turn, you get really into, you're like, you know what? This thing might inside me might be infinite. I don't know. Yeah. Once you start mixing it up with bros. Yeah. It, it actually, it grows. It's insane. It, instead of like feeling depleted and like, Oh man, I don't know. It actually feels like it, it increases inside of you. You swell with it. I'm gonna, <laughs> yes. You swell with content creation. It's crazy, dude. I keep being like, bro, I'm done. There's no way. Yeah. yeah that, every podcast I got done, all right, that was my last one. There's no so, way I'll have to do another I'm going to play Hitler's advocate on this. <laughs> and I'm going to say, uh, Matt, you're making it look too fucking easy out there. Nah, you dude. You got to stop. <laughs> no you're way. making it look, dude, you're, you're making it look like anybody can do it. And I'm, dude, you're, you're, you're out. You're anybody can cast. I want to start going to grade schools and be like, you guys could be comedy <laughs> podcasters and put your mind to it, guys. <laughs> uh, dude, I put a. Uh, I went to. I visited Fritz's kindergarten today. He Did started you? kindergarten this 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 week, oh. and I we today was like parent visitation day where they like say, "Yo, this is what's up. Here's what we're gonna do," and like I was watching her explain, like, "Yeah, we're gonna they're gonna learn like every letter. They're gonna like their numbers up to twenty. And uh, like she was saying these things, or do a lot like, with that, by the way. Yeah, you you can, but at the same time, it was like, yo, I had to look at this little boy who I think is like very interesting and smart and like cool for a five year old, and I had to realize like, yo, this kid does not know fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> he knows literally zero. Yeah, I have. I think I have a connection with this living creature, and his he's he's thinking with his spine. <laughs> yes, no, no books, like, dude. All. You don't know a fucking thing yet. Yeah, How have we man. ever talked before? I know. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a little jammed up on the fact that they learned 26 letters, but only 20 numbers. Yeah, well, it's kind of a. It's, it's. I'm more of a letters guy though, so I'm like, I'm with that, dude. We were, we I'm were a like, because once you unlock 20 num, once you understand how to go from 10 to the teens to 20. You've got pretty much all. They just go. Oh, then there's thirty, forty, fifty, six. You've got some momentum yeah. going. You got. That's pretty yeah. much just get you that's started. Fair. Yeah, I you think spend like eighty percent of the year getting to twenty, and then it's like, yo, you guys want to know what's up with, with numbers for real? <laughs> twenty one. All right, yeah, and you're like, wait, yeah, two words for you. Twenty one. All right, look into it over the summer. I'll see you guys in September. <laughs> one, one through ten. One through ten are the ABCs of numbers. One through ten are the ABCs. Of numbers. Okay, and then anything so over that's like the words of numbers. Yes, yeah, so yeah, give yeah. them one through ten. That's how you build. That's how you make every other number. Now you're in the yeah, game. Yeah. Exactly. You can't spell two hundred without two. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, you don't even. They don't even fuck with zero. You don't ever hit them with zero though. No, I, yeah. I, I, I it's just my, one. They stay in positive integers. I yeah. taught my kids zero instantly. That's the first thing I taught them. Zero. Yeah. I don't fuck with zero in my house. When we do count, we one, two. We do just finger stuff. Yeah, but they they understand the uh, the idea that of of, of nothingness. And we teach I teach them about nothingness. <laughs> what do you teach your kids? Ed? Yeah, yeah. we started with the yeah, opposite yeah, yeah. of infinity, and then we yeah. went with well, one. Well, I mean, for, well, no, I start them with non permanence. You got to start them with non permanence. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. And then you hit them with uh, nothingness. Mm-hmm. Now, what's a non permanent? Yeah, what'd you, how'd you break that down to a kid? Or is um, that more of a concept? What I are just, you talking about? I just say, <laughs> <laughs> I just constantly so re- you, pre- repeat the concept. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. After something happens, where they can like zero they, is permanent. <laughs> zero, zero is nothing, You're and, right, and man. nothing is You're permanent. Right, <laughs> yeah, that, that's I'm what kidding. I. That's what Jesus. I said. That's what I said. Jesus. Nothing is permanent. So you, yeah, right. You every time, every time someone says zero is infinite, one looks over like, mm, nah, actually, <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> nah, not really. You get nerds to fight over that. You literally, go, what the fuck? yeah. <laughs> so you parlayed the numbers discussion into basically 
Buddhism, you're raising your kids to be Buddhists. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm raising them to be other than people that understand that nothing is permanent mm-hmm. and the concept of nothingness. That's that's it. Like I can't I can't claim that they're Buddhists. I don't even know what a Buddhist is. Hmm. Okay. You just well, happen to know the like, first two. Of well, you better start truth. calling it something because if you've got them believing this kind of stuff, you are no, Sid Arthur, bro. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, <laughs> you're Sid Arthur. It is. That's probably what it is. Sid I Arthur. Might be, I might be. <laughs> you are. I might you're, be. Over here, you're over here rattling off noble truths, dude. One of the two of the four noble truths. Like it's nothing. It's like, yeah, dude. Listen. Okay. But then, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I can't. I can't they're, they're observable in nature, though. They're there for all of us to observe. Yeah, you're just hitting like, them with Duca and Suka. Yeah. I got you, bro. <laughs> It's like I'm sorry, sorry, sorry that I found the end to suffering on my own time, just by observing uh, the world, and I am parlaying that to my children. I can't even. Yeah, help great that. minds, you know that kind of situation. Yeah, true. Like you, you got there on your own. <laughs> yeah, I can't help that, man. I can't. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm figuring out a lot. When did you mm-hmm. first come? To, what happened? How did you first realize impermanence? Were you like in a palace gate, and your father prevented you from seeing anything? <laughs> and then you got out before the service. It was, it was, like, Who's that? Like that man's dying. You're like, what's death? It was very similar. Did that happen to you? It was very similar. <laughs> it was uh, so, It started off getting evicted from every house that I lived in. Every eight very months, impermanent. Yeah. About, <laughs> <laughs> until about sixth grade. Yeah. And that's how I what is your permanent <laughs> residence? But like, let me tell you something about permanence, dude. <laughs> yeah, my mom used to tell me yeah. nothing is permanent as landlords handed her keys for the second time that year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah it's um yeah so that's when you realize nothing is permanent right, right on and then you can move on from there you just build on from right that. on because i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna not enjoy life just so where'd you I, get into the void i mean the void is where you end up after a while uh mentally after you get evicted in the same house 11 different t- like in the same town 11 different times <laughs> and you get tired of explaining to people why you moved <laughs> It's when a Craigslist landlords hang up on you. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. the void. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's like, like when you like here, here's when you enter the void. The first time, you know, when you have to like fill out paperwork and you have to put uh, it's like parent or guardian, and you're filling out the guardian. Oh, <laughs> that was before what, Guardians of the Galaxy too. Yeah, so like it yeah. wasn't cool yet. It wasn't cool yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a tough yeah, one. Yeah, filling out the guardian. Dude, I was always when I was younger, I'd always be like, "Bro, what the fuck is a guardian?" I would look around and be like, "How does that work?" I I thought it sounded sick. What the fuck is a parent? Who has those? (laughs) It sounded sick. That was something I was kind of like jealous of. I was like, "Damn, dude, I don't have a guardian." The fuck? That does sound way more powerful than parent. Having a guardian, exactly. I got a regular soft ass parent. Yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah. all up in my fucking shit. Won't let me do a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, I could it's, be having a guardian right the, now. It's actually the opposite. It's like your parent partied so hard. That the closest nerd to them has to take care of. That's them. the reality. That's sure. a guardian. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a sentinel. Like the closest responsible person to them. Yeah. So that's crazy, man. Yeah. Although, to be fair, there is a, f- I do nurture one fantasy of just taking in some kid. I'm always like, come on, you could stay with it's raining. Get in here, dude. <laughs> some hot chocolate. That would be fun. Yeah. I, 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 also, I often think about that. I feel like I owe it to the fucking universe to, to take it. So I told Brittany. Brittany was like, she's really intent on having another kid so we can have a boy. I'm like, dude, I'll, I'll adopt like two 14-year-old boys right now. Mm-hmm. Right I, fucking now. I almost got guardianship of a child that was born to uh, someone close to me who was actually also one of my greatest enemies. The Damn. state reached out to me and said like, yo, there's a situation. There's a newborn baby it, that you are connected to. And we need that's how they parents. do it. They send it to a lot of people in like the like they, they shop I guess like a social worker yeah. like <laughs> researches like your family and like uh, close uh, you know yeah. acquaintances and shit like that. They call it into the radio. You think yeah. they pull up like Facebooks and are like, <laughs> oh yeah, I think so. Uh. Yeah, they they definitely scoped my profile and they were like, gold. This is gold. Jackpot. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would and love to hear a radio DJ I thought, shouting dude, that out. I did consider for like uh, a minute. I was like, if I took this child and raised him in my likeness, <laughs> there'd be what a what a cosmic W I'd be standing on the day that I died. Yeah. If you, I took one of my like most intimate enemies' children and and showed them a like prosperous and beautiful life, mm, nurture them the greatness. Yeah, that's, that's how you. That's, that's how you bring peace about the rain, or peace bro, about the lands, dude. I, 
I thought it so and then I also thought like wow I'd probably resent this kid for being such a fucking hassle all the time so I don't think I'm gonna do this yeah true <laughs> and it'd be like yeah you might go into a rage and be like fucking fucking asshole yeah motherfucker. <laughs> yeah I, I, would, I would treat him like his dad <laughs> no I, I could not it might you might come out yeah you might like beat you might have gotten you might have just I, like beat this kid his whole life and ostracized him <laughs> oh, from your family like fuck you dude if the state gave me your yeah. child and i physically abused him for 18 yeah. years it's like your personal reek dude yeah you start dressing, yeah. Him, dressing him like his dad right away yeah constantly <laughs> like, talking like, about but like in his dad size clothes not even like clothes that fit just like big ass <laughs> oh, dude. like this is what happens when you're from good stock you see my kid yeah my real kid uh, <laughs> you need to double down on the chores yeah oh man dude adopting went, kids and just telling them how much of a nuisance they are wicked so stepmother great. fully wicked stepmother <laughs> like you know i wanted to do other things right just take out all your aggression on that kid that your other kids bring up. Yeah, the whipping boy. Yeah. Well, that's kind of... <laughs> Raise a warrior. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, that's kind of what happened when we moved to my... When me and my brother moved to my grandmom's house. They hate my mom. Mm -hmm. They absolutely hate my mom. So yeah. were, did they treat you like her representative? Or did they did they treat you nicely to spite your mom that they hated? I mean, some it was like it was a mixed bag. You know what yeah. I mean? Like my, my grandma was just happy that she had somebody in the house that was on the honor roll so she could like start bragging about that. Mm -hmm. It's important for grandmoms. Grandmoms love that shit. True. And, my, and she worked for the school district. So she got to have, you know, me and my brother. And take on that cred too. Like she, my house, we don't fuck around like that. All that. Even though we, we came from a shitty situation with the honor roll. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so she loved that. But like all of my aunts and uncles that lived in that house, they fucking hated us. Really, yeah. dude? We didn't even. So they would make. Uh, they weren't they, fans of the honor roll. No, nah, nah, I didn't give a shit. I was a nerd to them. They were like, so they would. They would like. We would. We had to eat separate meals than them. Like they would, the same person would cook for all of us. Like my my grandma's husband. My he wasn't my grandpa, but uh, he would cook for everybody these like amazing meals, mm -hmm. and then we got the same two things like every week what they would either make a big thing of spaghetti for us or a big thing of hamburger helper for us. what that's and we had to like eat that for the rest of the week a dude a big oh, thing of man. hh yeah. a big thing of hh <laughs> i do love a lot of hamburger dude, a week's helper. worth of hh would be nice dude yeah. i mean we didn't hate it yeah true. you know like because he, he he also he to in his defense even though we were convinced he was like spitting in our food and stuff oh the cook himself yeah they they do but they we were like second class citizens in that house but why was her why was her you're still always yeah. <laughs> yeah why was her man's all messed up like that her man's but well, you said it was her husband oh my the god guy, he was cooking right dude he was the darkness what the fuck is his problem he 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 was the dark lord like he's so oh, I've heard of this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've had you had an evil <laughs> step pop up. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh the my evil, god. a malevolent monarch. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. dude. Yeah, yeah. Like he was like he was also like um totally futile, like a staple in the church community and everything. Oh my god! god. Was when those insane. dudes go bad, they go bad. Yeah, yeah. He dude, he was such a staple in the church community that he had it so that he didn't even have to show up to church anymore, and they talked about him every week. Like they brought him up, they brought his name up, his contribution, you know, all that. Like, yeah, it seems like a guy who could. He hit got to retire from church. Respect. He did, they undefeated. Did. Seems like he'd hit you with all of his might, like a kid, as hard as he possibly could. Dude. Yeah, they had a lot of community support, so it was like, you know, we were, we were just. How about we just quietly crush it and just get out of this house? Yeah, you know what I mean. We're just gonna get the fuck out. Here, of here. Here's a question for you: Did you guys, or like people around you guys, did you guys also have a very complicated like system of like custody, like battles and allegiances that all revolved around uh, getting more money in your tax return? Uh, we, I mean, we didn't deal with no. any of that clerical shit. Like you didn't do that. I, I mean, they like I'm sure that was going on because like at my grandmom's house. There were multiple cousins in there that weren't living with their parents. Yeah. And she was getting child support for all of us. Okay. So, I mean, that was a big deal. You know? Yeah. yeah that's the paycheck. Yeah. But then, you know, do we, I mean, we just like, it was like one of these situations where you're also hanging out with a bunch of people your age because all your cousins and shit are there. Yeah. So it was just like, I mean, we had some luxuries and we just took advantage of that. Okay. You know? It's okay. not like, like, it, yeah. You got yours. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, dude, yeah, it's cool. like, that's. Well, you, you can grow up in a shitty environment, but it's not it's not like if this is your environment, you will find a way to have your rays of sunshine. Yeah, you got a hamburger help yourself. Well. 
Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys missed out on like fifteen hundred dollars a year that you could spend on the boardwalk. So true. Yeah. <laughs> you guys yeah. should have pa- passed around social security numbers and then split the extra money. Family family court is the wildest fucking place on earth, man. Yeah, I mean, I saw. I I personally never had to deal with that because like my parents were just like stay out of the system i'll just do mm, this you know? yeah but like there were people around us that were getting butt fucked in family court like bro all the time. i i volunteered for this thing but before i went to social work school mm-hmm. so i had no like i had to have some sort of By experience way, biggest when you're living a situation like that your biggest fear social workers oh yeah dude they take you from your family oh yeah <laughs> dude because it's like you dance with the devil you know right like do i want to be here where they at least pretend their family sometimes yeah or somewhere or where it's full question mark, select a random stage. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. Yes. It's so scary. I, I just, I worked for uh, some agency, something that does family, like when, when a kid is pr- actively getting about to get processed out of the house, mm-hmm. I was supposed to like be the kid's liaison, meet the kid, and then be like in court with them, being like, like just to double check the lawyers or the p- other parents weren't trying to speak for him. But it was like, dude, I, I just did a little bit of that, but the sitting all day in family court and just watching a judge just be like, you're fucking lying to me. And the kid just sitting there. It's, dude, it's so fucking <laughs> worst. I was like, the kid just be like, did you do cocaine? The guy being like, I mean, it didn't come up in the official test. He's like, I gave you a more sensitive test and it came up in that. He's like, yeah, but that shouldn't count. And he's like, dude, <laughs> yeah. you can't do fucking coke. You're not getting your kids back. He's like, come on, man. Yeah, can we agree first <laughs> it's upon a fuck, the sensitivity it's, of the test? It's the, dude, literally, he was like, well, the official state one I did pass. And the guy's like, but you still had coke in your system. He's like, I mean, yeah, mm. but. Can't be changing the rules in the middle of the game, dog. Yeah. I, dude, it's so, it was it was crazy, man. You're it's like You're bearing witness to like annihilation. Yeah, it's, on a, it's family a, level. It's a crazy thing, but you got, you got to keep in mind too that they're coming out of a situation where the family is co- it's like it's in constant shambles anyway. It's like yeah. they're not coming. For, they're not like being annihilated. Like you're not annihilating a stable situation. Damn. Like you're lot, desi- uh, dude. A lot of bags of chips for meals. Yes. In that household, bro. <laughs> the ruffles. Yeah. There's bags of chips. <laughs> Standing out. People. Like you see yeah. a lot of people digging into ruffles. Yeah. Just like, the just like a, a fat like 12 year old just munching on a family size bag of chips being neglected that's what that's what you're looking at but even the defendants the dad, up with some chips the dad's phoning it in because he's like fuck yeah dude i'm not gonna have to fucking do shit for this dude anymore <laughs> i've definitely i've seen dudes sandbag it in family court before just being like fuck this just being like oh man guess you got me there so like i guess every other weekend that's cool <laughs> he yeah. threw the game <laughs> <laughs> you're the judge you're oh, the boss man. you're in what? charge i respect the law and you're telling me i mean my wife's such a bitch for not letting me see my kid ever but yeah dude i can fucking uh dude i think constantly about like the level of ruination i could bring my family it's my favorite thing to think about it's biblical it's literally biblical dude how hard i could fully spike i can now spike including my own four people's lives into the ground at any given moment I think about that that's all true the power. time. That is, like, that's true power. That's Jesus, like, that dude. should be the threat. Instead of like, I'll turn this car around. It's like, yo, I will spike our family into the ground so deeply, none of you will ever climb out. I will ruin our lives forever if you guys don't shut the fuck up back there. <laughs> dude, I mean, I could fully, yeah. fully terrify my house. I choose to go to sleep and rest, but I could be like up beating everybody and fucking screaming yeah. and shit. And I could get hammered and just fucking like banging in the walls oh. and be like, fuck yeah. you. Ah. You could get, I could get each of us socially exiled permanently. <laughs> yeah, anytime I want. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite thing to think about. It's like, Jesus Christ, I could literally alter history right now. Totally negatively. So easily. Yeah. Wow, so easily. Terrible. It's a terrible, yeah. well, it's a nice, it keeps me in balance. But yeah, I mean, it, it is, me it is, it is one of the possible outcomes. You know, I peep the nether realm constantly. I go, what would the nether realm yeah. be if I went full fucking wild, man? I'm like, oh. I, I, I try not to think about it personally because I know that because I have such a, um, a, a my not maniacal personality, like it can go either way. Full nether realm. I know that's something that Ansley has to consider on a regular basis. Like, damn, like we are hanging on by a thread. <laughs> like it's She's like, got nether Sydney just like tied yeah. down in an alternate dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's most of that's most of what she does. Yeah, that's, that's most of her activity in the course of a day. Floating through infinite space yeah. on like a tiny chunk of land. Yeah, it's uh, 
space whipped to a tree. Yeah, that's you, dude. She's got you in a jar somewhere. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it is kind of sick. It's almost like uh, sandbagging it at child custody court, right? Yeah. Because I don't have to do any more PTA meetings. That's not on the weekend. You know what I mean? That's not on the weekend. I feel like there are, I mean, I, I, I didn't ever realize how uncomfortable it was to go like to school as an adult to like go be like when the yeah. first time I went to like a kid parent school type function, I was like, this is kind of uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, <clears throat> I was asked to sit in a kindergartner's chair today and I was like, do you mind if I stand for this? I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. They wanted to see how close your knees came to your head. Dude. They were just fucking with you. They were like, we're sorry, we don't have any real chairs. I was like, I, I, I yeah, you think this is cute? I'm not going to humiliate myself. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I walked in, I, I went into a Maya's daycare and they have like all these bathrooms. Like they have like the classroom is like bathroom, then another classroom connected. So I was going to the bathroom terrified. It's like you open a door and it's like just a bathroom that goes another door. I had to take a piss in the building. And I was like opening a door. I was pretty sure there wouldn't be like a kid in here taking a shit. Mm -hmm. But I was like so terrified. I was about to like walk into a toddler just fucking. He saw. turns around his pants are around his ankles. Just pin I was like, yeah. please let me walk in on like a lady with like a naked toddler taking a oh, shit God. right now. And open the door. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank God. It's just a regular bathroom. It's a toddler pinching a loaf. Yeah. A lady like get out. And you're like, I didn't know. And like get the fuck out, dude. The fuck out of here. You can't fucking be in here right now. It's a fucking Tyler taking a shit in here right now, dude. It's a place of fucking business, dude. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Like, uh, uh. I was so relieved I opened the door and it was just a walled in, tiled one, you know, one entry bathroom. I was like, hey, fucking yeah. God, there's no kids in here fucking doing disgusting shit. <laughs> so I'd had to kill both. If I had walked in on that, was, I had to kill them both. I walked in being like, dude. I might have to do something terrible right now. <laughs> I can't deal with the embarrassment of having walked in on you the street. Swirly a child to death. <laughs> just beat up a lady. Yeah. Just oh. bludgeon a lady's head into the wall and fucking I'd have to leave. <laughs> I was never here. <laughs> it's too embarrassing. If word got out that I walked in on a toddler taking his shit on a tiny toddler toilet, they have the teeny tiny toddler toilet. Yeah, dude, this is the, this is the world that is made for cuteness. Yeah, dude. Like kindergarten classes. Uh. <laughs> it's like there's nothing that is not geared. Because that's like the only, uh, it's like one of the only perks that these kindergarten teachers get from the job is the fact that it's like a cute environment and they get to hang out in cuteness all day. Yeah. Because like the kids smell like shit. Like they're other people's kids. They don't listen. Like they're bringing in kids that don't even know their fucking letters yet. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like yeah. most of it they hate. And also this school, by the way, this is a nice place, right? But it's like the nicest place still in the hood. We're, we're still in the yeah. hood school wise. So it's pretty, pretty grim as far as like, Oh, you talking about oh, the school. The so that, you're talking about his kidney goes. garden. That could be a place where Matt's murder could take place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining, do I'm imagining yeah. Matt's murder taking place in like the cutest. It's pretty cute. In the there. cutest environment. Well, <laughs> it is. It's very cute and very nice. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm now thinking that should, it, it is daycares are always all women environments. Yeah. That's why it's just, they love the cuteness. That's why they had this motherfucker try to sit in a child chair because they thought it would be cute. Yeah. But they don't run any drills. Like one dude can get into there and just destroy the entire place. They, they do fire <laughs> drills. They should ta have some sort of test. Like have yeah. a company of dudes running into a daycare and just like <laughs> acting out how much damage they could have inflicted and let the women try to stop. You, won't, you don't actually like kick yeah, the kid yeah, in the yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you'd walk in and be like, bam, I no, just kicked that kid in the face. Dot, you put a dot uh, on the like, forehead. No, it's like laser tag style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wear a vest yeah, yeah. and you've got like a little soft baton yeah. Yeah. with a sensor on it. It's like, wow, two, dude. Two foot jump stop next to a baby. Be like That was squashed. <laughs> Okay, I just double jump, jump stop that baby. Just, just Mario like Oompa Loompa. Just fucking doot, doot, doot. Just like that one was kicked yeah. into a wall. Like, oh, okay, they just wanted to do a running ceiling fan. <laughs> Lady tried to tackle me. I blocked her instantly. Yeah. Um, here we go. Slid this one down the hallway into a wall. What the fuck? There's kids shitting in the bathroom. I actually stomped him. I can't get that. I can't let that get out about me. <laughs> Did you see a toddler take a shit? Like, no. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? No, I I just killed him. There was no, I did not see him taking your shit. Yo, if you if you could only do one wrestling move, you have to decimate a whole entire kindergarten, a whole, one wrestling a whole entire move? elementary school. You get one wrestling move to do it, and you have to do it over and over. Yep. Again. What, Bro, are you, what are you going? I'm with? coming across power the bomb. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would do the simple off the ropes, stiff arm. Just dude. <laughs> dude, I like just I, bow I, them down. I think I'm a rock bottom. Everybody. Rock bottom. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That make that's make that tracks. Yeah. To you for sure. 
That would hurt you though after a while, dude. After so many rock bottoms, you land right on your face. I would I would hope I would hope no, to start getting arch, better. Arch I would hope to start getting better at it as I go. True. You know what yeah, I mean? you land on them. Yeah. True. <laughs> Just land on them. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm meat and potatoes. I'm going right off the turnbuckle. <laughs> straight for them. Straight for them right at them. They're fucking ugh. Oh, power bomb is nice dude, too. Though. Power bomb is that's that's gonna get the quads going. Oh, for sure. Power my ba- my back's crazy. gonna be killing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah power that or if I just German suplexed everyone one at a time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my god. Yeah. Dunk. Just crushing their spines. Dude, now like fuck now I gotta re because I think What kind I, of people were we talking about? Killing again? I forgot. <laughs> I think he's a uh, kindergarten. Toddlers, kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> Little guys. No. Little guys. No. No, I'm talking about what a guy could do in there. And what that's a guy why, could do is yeah. like I'm saying they could hire. They need to have at least one dude in there, right? Like a like a bouncer type, just in case <laughs> another dude gets in there. Like I'm here. They need a backyard wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> backyard wrestlers should be posted up in schools to defend against weird guys coming in to kill the kids. True. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Or like school shooters and stuff. You could definitely you could have like a force like a. A force of dudes in hallways just nonstop Dude, keeping them morale. I would, I would love to be able to watch that drill. Do you know what I mean? I want to be. I want to see what my kids' teachers can do against this guy as well. Yeah, sure. and then we should be able to like evaluate, you know, how safe we think our school is and whether or not you know. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. now I'm on. I'm I'm thinking about like loner possible school shooters. There should be a guy like three people in schools now who are paid just to identify kids who like don't sit near any other kids and like one on one them pretty hard. Well, eventually, there's just going to be a camera in the front of the classroom that's just going to be running, like, algorithms against, like, the position and biometrics of every kid at all times. And eventually, they're going to be like, well, this kid's in the red. He's going to be a school shooter. His cortisol's up. Let's uh, do me a favor. Can we can we boost uh, serotonin in this kid uh, temporarily until we have time to, uh, I don't know, I'm telling punish you, what's the punish other, the other what's, children's parents? Yeah, what's the other side of the bell curve for that, though? Because you have, like, school shooters on one side, but, like, there has to be something good that that person could also end up being on the other side. You don't want to, like, stamp that out. Hmm. I, do, I, I do think they kind of want to stamp that out, though. Mm. I do kind of think that. Like, corporate tycoons and shit? Like, people that, like, captains of industry? Probably. Yeah. 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 I mean, dude, imagine having all of the social trappings of like a high school grade school nerd and then also not being smart too where it's at least like well the fuck you guys i'm smart i'm at you're like yeah i'm also dumb and socially <laughs> very undesirable within this immediate scenario mm. that's more i i always thought that was more of school shooters i never knew the school shooters that like do well yeah maybe we can get them into uh oh yeah it's like uh Hustler university early you know what it is it's like possibly when, when you're yeah. treated like a nerd but you're also very intellectually like incapable you know it's yeah. Like, no way, dude. I I gotta at least kind of be like, dude. Rad. No, dude. Your parents don't like you. You failed that test. Yeah. School's yeah. like you suck. You're dumb. You're not smart. The teachers are handing you D's and F's, and you're just going. You never found yeah. a good haircut, so you're just one clipping your head every six weeks. That, dude, we should be able to uh, alienate those kids and be like, listen, you fail in almost every category, but we're still gonna teach you how to get pussy. It can still be done. Whoa. That's a good idea. This is like you are on the track. Like this is the you want to be school shooter on. hitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be like the uh, like a like a vote. You know, you get the vote tech track. Yeah. And this is like the get pussy track. Like you sure. This is like you're just like roasting them all. This like Kevlar and shit that he has collected <laughs> under his bed. It's like, dude, this shit sucks, man. What do you need camouflage before? You've never been on grass. Shut up. Yeah. What what are those people called that teach people how to get pussy? PUAs. Pickup no. artists. Yeah, pickup artists. That's PUA. Yeah, get them on the pickup artist track right away. Oof. That's going to no, be a disaster, bro. Yeah, fucking, man. The girl's going to be like, oh, that guy. That's a lateral laughing. move. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Dude. No, but if you get them on it early, that's all they know. Like, they'll be better. Like, it's just like if you teach a kid jujitsu from like four till 12, by the time he's like 12, he's a black belt. You know, he might he might be awkward from like. You know, f- you know, four to ten, but then like ten to twelve, it's like holy shit. This I think you're dude. supposed to tell your kids. Like, I, I think it, with, I, I have to come out and just say things like, "Yo, dude, I told you to brush your teeth. Please go do it. If you don't brush your teeth, you're not going to get girlfriends." You know what I mean? Yeah. I I put, that's you, I, that's I, I put that shit into his con in, into context like that for him all the time. I'm like, bro, I know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Step one of getting this a girlfriend. Kind, brush this your kind teeth. of behavior. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> That's definitely near near the uh, genesis of getting a girlfriend is brushing your teeth. That's a big start. 
every everything. I can. I don't know if it motivates him or if he just like understands that like he wants I a girlfriend. Could've, I could have been an incel, so I'm like, yeah. bro, yeah, you can't you can't walk that same line. It was too dangerous. I could have I could have easily fallen to one side and and been an incel forever. Easily. How? How so? I don't know, dude. Because I'm fucking autistic or something. You thought you could have went incel mode. I what, think if, if can, yeah, if my, I, I think if my dad would have just said things like plainly to me instead of always just trying to show me and like be a good example, he should have been in my face like, "Yo, dude, this is exactly what is going on." Because I'm I yeah. So look useless. at the other side of the bell curve, right? Mm-hmm. Butterly is an adult who spends a lot of his time in a basement playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the other side of that bell curve. I mean, I also volunteer with children probably <laughs> 10 hours a week, you know. Yeah, but, that's, but, but, what I'm, but I'm saying, like, you you ended up, the track that you went down, you ended up this. Okay. You could have yes. very, like, that, yes. that, oh, another, that broad description, yeah. yeah, like, on the other side of the bell curve. That's what I'm saying. I feel like people, I'm saying, I'm people saying know like, Nether said, people know Nether Matt. Where's, what's Nether, what's Nether? Most Butterly? of the fans of our podcast. <laughs> 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 Sid, you brute, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know if like that's that? nether. Yeah. I feel like actually in my current state, I'm not that far. You know? I think nether is probably further away from me than that for sure. Yeah, what's nether? I don't know, man. Maybe like, uh, I, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I do. I, I, I do know. It's like. It's like the person who like hates the hates everything. Yeah. Like anything cool, they hate it. Like anything that people like, they just hate it implicitly. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's uh dude, it, it's you know, it's just like uh, a highbrow hater. Dude, arguing with people on the internet about fucking comic book movies and how true to <laughs> canon they are. Like, Yo, this is good. I gotta pull shit off you. I gotta pull shit off you. This is perfect. I gotta pull shit off you. No, don't yeah. stop. Yeah. Let him up. Yeah. This, is, this is incredible. Let him yeah. up. Like like somebody who's like absolutely against that Final Fantasy game everyone loves, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, uh, oh. dude, uses the word trite a lot. Like, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Dude, Sid just peered in your darkest I've never, been, I've never felt so understood in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> Dude, it's, I'm, oh, I'm dude. I feel exposed. Yeah. There's a hole in my uh, behind my fucking sternum right now. Sid yeah. just pulled off the mask. Oh. Dude, it's, it's, it's everything. <laughs> like when you have like a Tim Butterly in your life, it's everything that you feel blessed that he's not. Do you know what I mean? Like he could very well be that stuff, bro. <laughs> dude, I was talking about this yesterday. I was with Tom and Drew Montana. Yeah. About the we all we all have stuff like potential personalities that have to be kept at bay. Mm-hmm. Everyone has them, and it would, for the most part, there's like things you're like I could do that, but I, you have to literally be selecting, yeah, constantly. And it's very funny, like the stuff that gets thrown by the wayside. You're like, bro, I can't do that. Uh, yeah. yeah, that shit is not. That's not getting into the mix. Yeah, it does suck. It's weird. It sucks to like run into that boundary. That's what I mean. It sucks to like you're like, oh boy, I better recognize this behavior as leading to something not great. Yeah. yeah, but it's, dude, it's such a mind fuck that like they didn't have an idea for that. And one day someone was like, yeah, dude, your whole personality is a construction. <laughs> and you're actively checking and picking what you're letting in there. And there's other stuff behind it that you just negate all the time. Mm-hmm. But mm. it's there. It's like, Jesus. Do you know how we were talking earlier about like the people that like leave negative comments on YouTube videos? Yes. That would have been Butterly. I spent some time there. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> I spent some time raising Kane on YouTube's. Being a yeah, motherfucker to you're, people. You're you're actually trying to fuck with people like over time, like like draw them into something to fuck with them. He would be just trying to like stick it one time. Nah, I, you know? I was like finding dudes that like put out like videos of gymnastics. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing there, pedophile <laughs> motherfucker? Like I was being mean. Although this guy was kind of sus, dude. This guy yeah. had. To be fair, my anger was Whoa. just. It was righteous anger. I used to I used to follow Matt's YouTube comments for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get pretty hard yeah. in the pain on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, that's how you ascend the comedy hierarchy. You start in the comments yeah. as mean as negative as yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah, I definitely had a little bit and of that. And then you cry a me. lot in your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why does everyone think I'm a fucking dickhead? <laughs> I know. And then what you the cry. Fuck, dude? I'm just fucking kidding. <laughs> you rage cry in traffic. 
I'm just kidding. I wasn't I'm serious. just fucking kidding, dude. Obviously. I wasn't serious at all about any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say I'm kind of an asshole. A funny asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's always mad at you. <laughs> Oh, I know you guys were dinner doing dinner. You didn't tell me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thanks yeah. for the invite. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. Could you could you imagine if that's like if you're if 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 if, if, if this was a scene that happened out like in the collateral of your life? Uh-huh. If it was like you invited Tim? Okay. All right, I guess I'll still come. Oh, <laughs> Could you dude, that's so that? painful. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, I can easily imagine that kind of thing. So here's the, I can actually feel that. I th- I, <laughs> by the way, I think that is my life. I'm <laughs> not sure. <laughs> I just assume that is my life, and I just like start there. Ooh. Like, and if I ever get invited yeah. to something, a point like, of controversy. Oh my god, this is yeah. A, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, no, dude. That's that's well, it's terrifying too because the most. This is what I trip out on the most. Like, you get like the. The dude, like the absolute archetype of an app, like a totally brutal dude. You're like, <laughs> everyone knows you're just like, fuck, man. You didn't tell me this guy was coming. There's, there's like dudes like that bopping around. There's a, a lot of them, mm. a decent amount of dudes bopping around who, like, a whole squad of people go, fuck, dude. All right, let's brace ourselves for this encounter. Yeah, and it's funny because typically that dude, if you ask them, has no conception of the fact that, like, that's occurring and they have anything to do with it. It's yeah. typically like, yeah. no, dude. That guy's a fuck that. That's fucking bullshit. This and it's like, no, dude. Yeah. Like you're radioactive. Dude. Everywhere they go, though, they have to be like, did he just roll his eyes when I when he saw me? <laughs> like that, that. That's the closest they get to like observing the effect that they have on people. Like, there's no way he. Just yeah, but I'm, there's, there's something in all of our minds, but it's, it can get concentrated. A person like, yo, that guy's a fucking pussy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Fucking rolled his eyes at me. Fuck him. He's a fucking bitch. Blah, blah, blah. And he just, it's constantly. Being all your bad stuffs being put out on everyone else around you, then everyone right. stops talking to you, and you're like, "Fuck this, dude! People yeah. suck, oh, dude." Yeah, you want to, here's here. Oh man, this is kind. I guess kind of related, but you know how uh, I think I think I bitch a lot about like getting too stoned, and I start to like freak out and hate like really feel like the eye of Sauron on me. And I'm like, oh, dude, <laughs> there's a high probability I fucking suck. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, I have that going oh on. Oh, my God. Get into dude. a suck spiral. Like, do I fucking suck? Dude. Fuck. As, like, as soon as I feel good, I, I also feel myself, like, overshoot and go into the red. I'm just like, no, actually, probably a dickhead. And this week, I was fucking chilling. I don't know if I found, like, a strain that agrees with me or something. Yeah. But I was, I had a couple of different times this week where I got, like, pretty stoned. Like I finished loading the dishwasher. It was like, you know, turning off the lights for the night. And I was like, all right. Ooh, that's when the demons come out, dude. That is when they typically come out. That is when they typically, dude. After you shut week, the dishwasher and hit those downstairs lights, dude. Yeah, you're just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking, the cheers end credits theme song plays. No, I, I this week, I was doing that. I was finishing my, my last chore for the day. I was ready to, you know, just turn the lights down. Not even go to sleep yet. Just sit down, watch some TV. It's late at night. And I had the feeling of like, yo, dude, in a lot of ways that I care about, I actually kind of rule. That's the key. Bro, rode the wave all week. That's sick. Right into this room right now. And there's, dude, there's no reason that shouldn't be the case. Let me just make that clear. Yeah, but I mean, then you have to get really good at like, you know, deciding what you value, what rules, you know? And then you can kind of get cheap and start acting like some lame stuff that you do rules. And I've probably been guilty of that in the past. I've probably been like, wow, this... I am the shit. Good chair. We've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Good chair. We've all been there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, that's, dude, that's, I'm telling you, you start really peeling back the stuff, man. It's yeah. pretty, it gets pretty wild. Dude, I, I mean, I have a joke about it. I, I talk about it on stage, but this is true. Like for decades, I was riding high off of like one time in, in school, I threw a book onto a bookshelf and it like stuck in between two books. You trick shot it. Dude, I'm, I, I do just mentioning it again. It just boosted me up. Yeah. Like, I feel like I've been riding that. Have you ever reached exactly. out to any classmates to be like, "Yo, do you remember that one time I flipped the book back onto the shelf?" That the I have, they people have come back to me because I make a podcast cool with things. two guys and they don't yeah. believe that it happened. They yeah, want yeah, me to call yeah, you yeah, to yeah, verify. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there any chance you have like a picture from that yeah. day? Or was something? it paperback or hardback? <laughs> Dude, it was uh, it was a hardback. It was a hardback. Whoa! And it was uh, I mean, because you you flip a book and it instantly. But that's the whole. That was the whole. That's the impressive part. How'd you figure that out? Dude, you gotta 
give it more rotation than you got to spin it yeah, harder yeah, than yeah, you think. It can't be. Yeah, grab yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab go. one. Right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see this. I got to see this. Yeah. Let's see it. I got to see this. Oh, that's a hard back. Good okay. pick. Good pick. That's some dose. It's been a while. That's some it's been a while. Some, <laughs> guy. You pick some dose. Yes. You go ahead. Where are you going to toss it into? I'm, uh, I'm going to toss it over to. What about this box? Right, box it's curtains. It's a pretty big, big box. Box curtains yeah. are good. I said those curves. Just so you know, pretty, pretty yeah. fairly normal size box. Yeah. There you go. Hold on. All right. These curtains are good. Watch your knees, buddy. You got to. I yeah, know, yeah. dude. Oh, no. Uh, that was neat. I missed. That was pretty neat. But th- those flaps did closed. not come out. If, o- if only it would have been yeah. on target, then we could have actually evaluated it. No, those flaps, those flaps didn't flutter. The, they didn't mm. flutter. You put some Gravitron it's spin the, on it's that. It's the rotation. It's the, it's, there's a very specific rotation. Can you velocity. do that again? Can you do that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Say it's on to something, bro. Yeah. Say it's on yeah. to something. You're on it. So, and, it, and this is how oh, you shit. would throw it wrong because a person's so yeah, worried flap about it just trying to get. That was starting to flat. Yeah, that was starting, starting to flat. So you got to put a tight Yeah, and it was like, the dude, the distance. Oh, yeah. yeah the distance, You get too, some air between one. the pages. Yeah. Yeah. You had gravity suck the pages together. Dude, it was over, was. and it was over two tables. Wow. It was like, it was a it was a pretty good distance that I threw this thing. Whoa. And it's like, make no mistake. Now, was this a straight shot, or are you kind of like bowling where you like put dude, a little bit of a spin on yeah, it? What was the yeah, parabola like, like out the side? Like arced up and in. Yeah, what kind of footwork were we dealing with right here? Planted square. Oh, and uh, I was sta- I had my hand on the table, <laughs> and then I was like leaning over and like just mm-hmm. tossed it in. It was like spine a, completely straight. Obviously, dude, not what was it? What was the with like how much space are you talking about? Dude, one it book length. Wedged. Or? It wedged. It looked unreal. It was like one of those you major split an arrow. glitch moments. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn. Do you know how much credibility you just bought by having that book stay closed when you flipped it? True. Wild. That what a transaction of credibility I just watched. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's what you call re- that's receipts. That's absolutely CSC. Yes. Keeping the book flaps closed with that spin. I didn't think it was possible. I was like, no way. Thank you. I did not think that was possible. <laughs> what was Thank the you. tome? What was the volume you threw in there? Uh what do you mean? What was the book? Oh, it was. Uh, I'm a writer. Was, I call them volumes. Go ahead. Yeah, it was. It was. We were. Uh, it was an independent study I was doing in the library. We were reading Shake uh, Macbeth. Yeah, and it was a classic too. Yeah. It was a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Yeah. You tossed the book. Tossed it. Yeah. You hit the fucking cardboard box. You yeah. actually hit the cardboard box. Yeah. I believe it. I think myth. Yeah. Proven. Myth busted, dude. No, myth <laughs> proved, myth proved, myth yeah, proved, yeah, yeah, proved. Yeah, yeah. myth proved, myth proved. Yeah, That's I feel like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people think that I'm making shit up on here a lot. Like, we could, yeah, raised. we could yeah. do Sid Busters. <laughs> let's, do, let's do that. Please, let's do that. We'll yes. just let the comments yeah. dictate what we yes. Sid Bust. Dude, that is so fun. <laughs> yes, please. Listen, uh, we don't do this often, but if you are a I listener. I mean, you just, you just shit on the haters. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, shit yeah, on yeah. the haters. If, you, if you've been listening and you have a list of shit that you don't believe about Sid and you want to see it be busted, put it in the comments. Bro, let's fucking go right yeah, now. That's a gauntlet. Let's fucking go. That's a gauntlet, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, that was fuck you, shut up. Yeah. Fuck you, shut up. There it is, dude. Show and prove. Yeah, Show and prove. I don't. I don't think people believe that a person can can have been the man for a long time and just enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Not like throw it in other people's faces and being dick about it. Just like enjoy it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm good at a lot of shit. Wow. Is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Now watch Can't out, dude. That. You gotta be aware of hubris. That's another I'm thing. Just I'm saying. Good at. That's another thing I'm good I'm at. Being aware of Hebrew. I'm like, I'm, I'm so amazing at being humble. I don't know if you're. <laughs> I don't know dude. if you're allowed to claim hubris. I'm like, dude. Spot, I'm like spot on. I'm like timely with it. It comes and goes. Perfect wow. timing. Not right, right, right when it's right when it's needed the most. Boom, hubris. Yeah, just be like, I'm being fucking humble as hell about yeah, being the right. best. Get the fuck out of here, hubris. You sound like a guy that thinks he can drunk drive. Uh. I don't think I can do anything drunk. I can high drive. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound like a guy who's like, yeah, gotcha, I, gotcha. I know how to yeah, drive yeah. when I'm drunk. The other side of my it. bell curve. Yeah. I hate that guy too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I was, I was thinking about turning off the lights and just the fucking torrent of negative shit you get sometimes when you do that. Yeah. The number one thing I never realized I did this until now when all the lights go off. I spend like that first 30 seconds being like, dude, I'm so good at seeing in the dark. This is fucking <laughs> crazy how good I am at this. I was like, I think I do have like some sort of capability to see it. And I do. I, that's like my number one thing to do throughout my house at night. 
Can you improve your night vision with nightly exercise? I mean, dude, I'm pretty nice. You have to, first of all, you have to have faith that you know your layout. Mm. So first of all, you got to have faith in the layout. It's like, bro, I know where my boxes are. You're using are. sonar. Kind of, dude. It's like yeah. I, I literally I got to get up. I got to walk to my drawer, grab my boxes. If Maya wakes up, I do it in the pitch black. And I'm always like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, yeah, what you do, you're, nah, you're, good. you're using the mental mini map that you have. On the top yeah. corner of the screen. That's all you're doing. You're and not you're actually just, seeing anything. And you're just letting yourself, because your eyes do adjust. It's pretty sick how your eyes adjust to the dark. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I yeah, that's what I'm myself. talking about. Can you can you train your eyes to get better in the dark? Uh, I don't do know. Mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Are visual, they will do the visual acuity. Yeah, yeah. They will. Like your, your pupils open and let in more light. Yeah, you true. Know, I'm thinking about aperture. I'm just thinking about physiologically. But when, how it, can you do but it? when it is dark, though, your eyes your eyes are dilated as hell. Yeah. So, but yeah, I guess the mushrooms will maybe make it a little more dilated. But yeah, and you get like laser borders for every straight line. You just gotta be yeah. bold. I've taken some big fucking falls and spills. <laughs> I've like hit some <laughs> laundry baskets that are, are my nemesis. <clears throat> Kicking a laundry basket yeah. in the dark and it's being like fuck. Yeah, they don't have a permanent place. That's the training ground. Yeah. That's the training ground of getting your eyes better in the dark. My first apartment was a uh, row home in Port Richmond <laughs> uh, that I shared with my best friend and uh, another friend of ours and. I had the front bedroom. So you walked straight up a flight of wooden stairs and then you make a right around the top banister and come all the way back. And my room's right there, right? The bathroom is a couple steps past the top of the staircase. And so one night I had a, a I'm not like a get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom kind of guy. That never happens. Mm -hmm. One night I have to piss in the middle of the night. The light switch for the hallway is by the bathroom so i have to walk holding on to this banister from like the, being above the steps in the dark feeling the walls i get to the bathroom and now when i come back i have to leave the light off to to go to my room True, or, or yeah. the light will be on all night so i'm walking in the dark and i think i have this nailed i think i'm like okay i have the layout perfect and i start to confidently walk and i walk straight off the like <gasps> the stairs yeah dude i take a full like normal step off of the top step and slide all the way down oh, the bottom you of the did stairs a, you did the coyote <laughs> when you realize there's no ground <laughs> <laughs> oh you went down all the stairs yeah i held up a sign that said uh oh <laughs> <laughs> Pew! Dude, yeah. How was it when you fell down the steps? It was the worst experience. Pitch. I think my ankles still hurt. <laughs> you fell down steps in pitch dark. Well, was, dude, like, it was the worst you, feeling of my life. Were you grinding dude. your ankle bones sliding dude, down the steps? I, it was. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be crying as I was falling, bro. I yeah. it felt like when, uh, oh, fuck, like, if, fuck. like, like one of those Vietnamese like war traps. It just leaves oh over like a pit God. of spikes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Catastrophic experience. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we time wise? Uh, oh my god! Oh, dude, we got all the time in the world, man. I thought it was like an hour and ten minutes it went by. No. Oh my god! And I was having a blast. Yeah, that's why you you were having that much. I fun. had so yeah. much fun. I was like, there's I was, no way. You try, to, you try to recalibrate. Time was moving yeah. fast forward. Yeah. Oh, it's going. It's, time's going so slow in a, in a very positive way for me. I was like, dude, there's yeah. no way. Yeah, that was so jam packed. I know. <laughs> so you fucking dude ate it, oh, ate I mean, it down the steps. Yeah, full you, speed. Were you like face up the whole time. Yeah, I down? believe so. Yeah, I don't remember flipping or anything like that. Mm. And I, I mean, would obviously. That's red pill, blue pill. Face first down the steps, or fucking <laughs> yeah. feet first down the steps. Yeah, yeah. That's I would have been. I would have been a quadriplegic if I if, if I saying. went head over heels. Yeah. It was over for me. Thank yeah. goodness, right? You would have none other choice than to get in a tiny wheelchair and just learn a ton about the universe. <laughs> dude, how my legs would get super skinny. <laughs> They'd just be sticking over the edge of my you, basketball wheelchair. You have no which other I choice. would obviously dominate yeah. at. You know the choice of becoming a like a yeah. What about astronomer? now they have wheelchair X Games? Mm. What? Yeah, dudes are doing the big the big air with wheelchairs yeah. now. So <laughs> you know well, wait, they're catching air like in the yeah, wheelchair. They're going down the big ramp and then up the big like gap and like doing flips and stuff like that. What? Yeah. So that's fucking tight. It's not over. <laughs> if you lose the ability to walk it's not over dude. It's you not can still end. get extreme as fuck you can mm -hmm. you could, yeah you could still do getting your dick sucked worthy behavior okay so imagine so imagine you're like paraplegic to the like your arms worked but like you genuinely like some nerve thing happened like your dick didn't work no but then someone finally was like yo do you want to get air 
<laughs> your legs and your dick don't work. It's like I would be like, bro, send me on the. You'd be ramp. the bravest competitor. That's of what all I'm time. trying to say. It's like, bro, put me on a ramp. I don't give. Put me down this ramp right now. I'm catching. Fuck. That's the only last thrill you can get. It's air <laughs> and an intimate knowledge of the cosmos, like Stephen Hawking. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, give me the knowledge on the cosmos and fucking launch me off this half pipe. <laughs> what if you have like a really bad spill and then you get your upper body paralyzed too? And then you're down a higher and it's just knowledge about outer space at that point. Yeah. That's all you got left. <laughs> <laughs> to enrich man's understanding of his place in the universe. That's all you could do after that. <laughs> you would do the you do the free fall from the upper stratosphere? Yeah, Ooh. that'd be tight. The skydive would be nice. Yeah. That'd be, that's pretty sick. Skydiving in a wheelchair would be fucking awesome. Just being like, fucking whatever. Dude. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about fuck <laughs> ever. I might not even pull this shit, dude. Who fucking cares? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I want to get. I don't want to do a tandem jump the whole way down. Like, don't fucking pull it, dude. I want to fucking yeah, die. Don't you? fucking pull it. I want to yeah. fucking die. Could you what imagine? Fuck, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Stop. And then just get the bottom. Like, no, I was fucking around, bro. Was <laughs> a paraplegic's legs just like <laughs> flinging around loosely in the air. <laughs> 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 completely untethered to anything <laughs> dude imagine bringing a knife up with you and cutting your straps off the dude and be like later pussy I'm gonna fucking die you idiot you fucking asshole that's had to have been done right some dude just cuts that's the straps it had to be a dude that killed himself tandem skydiving <laughs> uh, maybe that was another thing I bet you there's been an instructor that killed themselves I wanted to try to figure out if we can come up with situations that have never happened ever before well alright I'm gonna google tandem skydiving suicide. that was another thing mm. can we identify situations that have never happened before I think we do it every single week <laughs> I'm pretty sure we do That's I, I was thinking about it I thought of another one the other day I was like dude I don't think that's ever been done but I forget it a truly novel situation I don't think anyone ever cut themselves off and was like later Yo. Ooh, a bridegroom Yo. tandem would be nice. Skydiving coach loosened harness to commit suicide during tandem jump. Mm. Oh, it did happen. Whoa. Mm. Oh. Being an avid skydiver, I will say, though, uh, if being like a suicidal skydiver, that on a bright note, that, that you do get to pig out on a cool suicide of being like later. That's dude. a top, yeah, that's a top five, probably. Suicides. Later. Yeah, dude. but that's that's one of those things, man. That's a tough one because you they skydivers don't always die on impact. Like these fuckers live sometimes. Yeah, but I, I feel like that's only when the shoot partially happens. Unless you hit water. Dude, if you it's jump out of too, a fucking plane like, and your parachute doesn't work at all, you're definitely dead. I'm, I'm also thinking about it wrong, too, because if you're if you're falling and trying to save your life and you know anything about falling through the air, you're going to like widen your body to try to slow yourself down. But if you're trying to commit suicide, you're like diving head first. Sailor's into, dive, yeah. dude. Sailor's dive. That'd we got the sick. GoPro going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about to get all the fucking views, dude. The guy that he was attached to survived, by the way. He landed safely. Wait, what? The tandem skydiver that listened to Sarnas and killed himself. He didn't die? He, The skydiver, the instructor died. The guy he was attached to landed safely. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah that yeah, guy yeah, was yeah, probably yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. yeah so but he they like, confirmed it in the article. The instructor died. He yeah. like separated himself, pulled the he other He took guy's the school shoot. bag off and just... <laughs> <laughs> And that dude had to like remember what he heard and like actually pull his own. Sh I think some of them are auto deployed. He might too. have already. He might have already been under the parachute. Oh, that's mm. good on him for getting his boy to safety and then being like, "All right, bro." It wasn't it wasn't immediately clear? Uh, imagine going to work every day and being like, "I can't fucking jump out of a fucking plane. This is so fucking annoying. I'm gonna fucking kill myself, dude." I fucking hate yeah. skydiving. Now I'm skydiving. A window sucks. washer kills himself, jumps off of his his crane thing. Toward the top of the building, yeah. Is that is that the same category as skydiver? Jumping well, I'll tell you what's the same for me categorically himself. is that it will immediately be unclear as to whether or not that was like a suicide or an accident. Ooh, good point. Right? Okay, a safe. Like, that was, yeah. yeah, it was a suicide. Oh, well, this about. is complex. You yeah, know? Is a, I heard about a suicide some uh, like years ago. It was a lady like barricaded herself in a room and then like killed herself with a chainsaw, it, but didn't leave a note. And they were like, yeah, suicide. It's like, nah, let's investigate this a little bit. Lady Ooh. chainsawing herself to death? Yeah, she chainsawed herself to death. We're, damn. Yeah, right? Sounds like something. That Sounds like almost something you can't do. Like your body would be, it'd be tough for, like, to will your body to do that. I think there are probably men out there that could do it. Yeah, although once you, if you got yourself in the neck real good with a chainsaw, bro, you're dying. Yeah. So you wouldn't, I wouldn't, she wouldn't like hack herself. She probably just slash herself once. It yeah. Like, I mean, it, they, again, it, the article wasn't clear about that, but it was clear about the fact that they're calling it a suicide and there was no note. 
Where it's like you can't like it's a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> it's like you could, you gotta. That there could have been so many other things. Hmm. Yeah, that's a statement in and of itself, though. If you kill yourself <laughs> with a chainsaw, you're not like. And that is your way, suicide yeah. note. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Yeah. That's your note, yeah. dude. And yeah, that that's, is, and that's like that is something that like a chick. That's how you like felt. A chick would do it that way, or like the sickest dude ever. Yeah. <laughs> sickest dude. I don't know. I, I, I uh, self harm on that scale. I can't really fathom. Did you ever see the guy that he created a like a, it was like a I think he might have casted a metal helmet or it might have been made of like a, a plaster or something like that, but he made these like plugs, these holes all over this big weird helmet, right? And in each of them, he put a shotgun shell pointed toward where his head would be. What? And he connected them all with like an electrical system, like pulled a switch and. <laughs> Blew his head up, exploded his head. Implode, explode. What did he do? It's just like I think <laughs> fucking splatter, dude. Man, isn't that awesome though? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. No note though. I'd love to get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to get that. That happened for real. Yeah, I think I probably saw it on like Ripley's Blue or not or something. Mm. Or no. Do, do you know the in 1929 <laughs> stock crash? There actually were, nobody jumped out the window. That was just a lie. For real? A lot of those dudes, like, in, in that time period during the Depression, eventually did kill themselves. But, like, not a single bless person, you. bless you, not a single person jumped out of the window. Whoa. That fucked... I fucking learned that. And I was like, what? I guess... I, I guess that's not really tied to a core memory for me. Because I, I get it. I get the reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it never happened. I was... Because I was... Thinking about... I was laughing about, like, if my, my, my Apple Pay wasn't working. It was kept getting fucked up only in like two places. And I was like, dude, if this fucking happens again, it was like a one story building. I'm going to fucking run and jump out the window because <laughs> I've been financially ruined. And as I was waiting, I was like ordering coffee. I was waiting. And I was like, did that actually happen? I looked it up. Like it did. Cause I was like busted. <laughs> like, dude, they killed themselves over. Oh, like, that's crazy. Like their stock dipped. And they're like, I'm fucking up. That's it. I'm like that second. I'm jumping out the window. It's Are like, dudes kill themselves right now because of how crazy. Yeah. Big time. Financial stuff is are they? There's a lot of dude dudes who are on like the fence big time and like yeah, yeah this like a lot of cryptocurrency suicides out there. Yeah, there's that and there's also just there's just dudes who are like ready to go. So if you like if the world at large kind of starts getting fucked up, it's like oh yeah, fuck this. Um, oh, they're like they're like the thing at the arcade where you put the quarter in, it lands on all the other quarters, and there's a thing pushing. They're <laughs> on the edge and yeah. they just get pushed yeah. over. <laughs> yes. Well, it's called uh. So with suicide, there's you need something. It needs to be coupled. With either the reason or the means to do the suicide that is right for you. Like every every person could commit suicide, but they have a very specific suicide that they have to commit that's like for them. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, who do, who's determining this? You're saying like the authorities in order to rule it a suicide? No, no, no. So it's like it's like psychologically, like what happened? Like how does when when does suicide increase? So there was a I think we talked about this before. Like when um. England would start using town gas. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. people would now have the ability to like put their head in the oven and kill themselves yeah. easily. Like suicide went up because it was coupled. Because it was the cool thing to do. It was yeah. It was it's pretty sick. It, it gave was, people an out. People didn't have like a massive easy out like that back then too. Yeah. So are people getting themselves like run over by their self driving Teslas now? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess every time there is like an advance and any new technological advancement, people want to. Uh, use it to make themselves come and uh, like kill people with it. That's well, I every. Yeah. I feel like my technological I feel like, leap. I feel like my coupled suicide is somehow virtual reality related. That's why I don't mm. fuck with it. Ooh, oh, yeah. Like you, you get sucked into the dream world. Yeah, and, I think then, that's and in the helmet, like <laughs> you go, no, <laughs> no, put me back in. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a time. I'm a time. I log off for when yeah. I'm in the dream world. There's a. I'm playing this game Shadow Run, and it takes place in the future. Everything's super technological, and there you go into instead of like a hero, like a trap house or like an opium den or something like that. You go into these places where people are like putting uh, like virtual experiences directly to your brain, so you actually have the sensation of living out like a fantasy, like yeah, strongest man in the world who gets his dick sucked, or like my nightmare know. is being addicted to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate, so you actually you you, fought, you track down someone who's like a junkie for it, and you help them by taking off the helmet, and they're like instantly grab a gun and kill himself. Yeah, the first thing that they do when you take them out of the VR, when you take them out of the VR, they go, "What are you? Do? Why? Do, why would you do that?" It's I, was, over. I was trying to look up the amount of people who kill themselves with their prescription, like their prescribed medications, but no such luck. 
Mm. Whoa. I think that's deep. that seems like a number that we should pretty much yeah. be What's we should know that offhand. Big pharma? Probably a decent amount. Yeah. There's a decent amount of people just fucking <laughs> gobble the whole prescription and I got it, I'm done. You but, can gobble like a probably a month worth of Xanax and yeah, you might I don't know. You might have a really good time. You might have the best time ever. <laughs> this, this one's age restricted now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bad I, thing. Last night I said I it's a coward's move. Last night I said to Mary Jo, speaking of percent of the people's ratios, I, I said, Hey, did you know that sixty eight percent of women say that they are uh sexually unsatisfied in their marriage? What? Yeah, I hit her with this. And I was like, So I mean, if you got anything good, it's probably seems even better. Knowing that, right? Sixty-eight percent of people. Well, I made it up. It was completely untrue. I was just trying to like <laughs> gauge her reaction and say like, "What'd she say?" Was she like, "Yeah." She actually was pretty guarded about the whole thing. That <laughs> 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 was it when you turned off the lights yeah. and shut the dishwasher. I was like, night. actually, <laughs> <laughs> what I do when I revealed that I was like lying. I, I was like, "Yeah, I just made that number up." She was just like, "Okay." I was like, right, "Could you do me a favor and Google it?" And it was like 50%. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, wow. You, but it sounds like know. you took a peek into the sun Maybe, for like, yeah. an unexpected <laughs> peek into the sun. It was, it was, it was just a poorly thought out plan that I was stoned. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was, dude, I was high and I was like, I'm the man. Here we go. It was mm -hmm. a funny play trick on my wife. Oh, no, dude. Yeah. Make myself feel like a dickhead. <laughs> Time to play a trick on my wife that I could probably parlay into getting my dick sucked. Oh, I, I fucking stepped on a rake. <laughs> <laughs> you walked down the steps, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I bugged out on that today. I was I was walking to the bathroom and I was just like, "Am I a gifted lover?" I, I was like, "Dude, I'm gonna like." I'm going to have to keep trying to blow this chick's mind for the rest of my <laughs> life, dude. I'm like, it's going to get so difficult at a certain point. No. You got to get real into like sweater beard, like I love you sex. <laughs> That's the only move left. You talk about like. Like tantric. Yeah. Sweater beard, I love you so much. Like just soft music. Yeah, babe, cool. let's, like, let's mm. go out. Let's go to the boutique housewares store. Synchronized, and and get yeah. into like synchronized breathing. <laughs> yeah. Kenny G. Synchronized breathing, Kenny G. We started, yeah. we started fucking with lighting. What kind of lighting? Just different colors. Strobe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might do yeah. that. I might hold a flashlight right under my face. <laughs> <laughs> and tell her scary stories. Put on some fucking prodigy. Really just. Fuck, dude. <laughs> really just terrorize her sexually. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just hold in all of my seed as uh -huh. much as I can. Obviously, again, no yeah. it's perfect, but I hold it in as much as I can. And you get like, you just get like high school horny for them. And you get. Dude, you get a, a velocity that is, you know, it's worth it. It's so yeah. funny, man. I'm I'm, a, I'm in a big less is more phase right now. Not bragging, but I'm going to let, dude, food, unless I absolutely need it, I, I don't just eat food now. Yeah. Okay. Only if I need it. Okay. It's yeah, like, that's. I, dude, when you take away, I took away like 40% of the food I eat a day. I feel so much better. I, I was eating too much food for no fucking reason other than I just like to eat food. I was not eating between 9 a.m. and like 9 p.m. for a long time without realizing it. And really? Yeah, and it would end up with me just like pinging out at a very inappropriate time. Mm. I never do. So now, now I make sure, even if I just have like some, some chips and hummus, I gotta eat something. Dude, I wake up day. scheming on breakfast every single day. I have never, not once, I've, now, I've never forgotten to lust after breakfast the second I open my eyes. Really? <laughs> I know dude you like can't eat in the morning and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I know a lot of people like that and it's like, dude, I wake up. That's like, a that's a womanly trait. If you know a dude that can't so? eat in the morning, it's because he's his tummy hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying this just because you said that, but I can I can literally wake up in the morning and munch a burger. Yeah, I, as soon as I wake up, I can no problem. Yeah. yeah. I could eat a fucking lobster tail <laughs> in bed. I can <laughs> Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big spaghetti for breakfast guy. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Cold spaghetti for breakfast. It's like worst yeah, breath yeah, ever. Yeah. Let's go. I do, I do the same thing. I'll fucking munch spaghetti in the morning and yeah. just go out in the world. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I shouldn't be smelling this at 9 a.m. right now. This guy is yeah. fucking tomato sauce and garlic. Yeah. just oh, Pretty manly, though. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I get it. That's the thing, too. I have such my inner organism. That's what I'm into right now. So, obviously, I have my fucking 
my perceive I have like all the swirl of thoughts, potentialities. I'm blocking them all, filtering out the ones that are in line with my values. But then I also have my organism, which is constantly in search of fucking food, dude. <laughs> yeah. My organism's constantly being like, yo, go get those K-Cows. And I'm like, dude, I don't need any K-Cows right now. They're like, bro, <laughs> get those fucking K-Cows. I'm like, I'm not even fucking hungry, dude. I have a mental, I have like a mental structure that's like ne- just always trying to just munch carbohydrates unnecessarily. Yeah. And I have to be like, no. Yeah, it's because you do push-ups like for three days every six weeks and your body's like okay here we go (laughs) and then you're like oh okay i'm not gonna really have time to do 20 push-ups right now i'm just gonna go to bed your body's still just like oh dude yo there i know we've been working pretty hard lately i need to keep up (laughs) don't wait to feed me until after you work hard dude feed me now you work out and just is like three weeks later like damn all right i have tits again dude i i have have not it was so funny because i like i wouldn't work out for a while and then, like, I started working out like, pretty regular, almost every day, at least during the business week. And I was like, if I did like a half an hour workout in my head, I was like, I need to, I need to eat like an Olympic athlete. Yeah. So I would eat like five thousand. I need like yeah. fifteen thousand <laughs> calories, and then I would stop work. But I, dude, I was like, I still, I'm still eating only, only when absolute necessary. And I've been working out. Like, I'm gonna pass out. I have tons of energy. I'm not like before. I was like, I have to eat if I'm working out. And it's like. Turns out your body just has a bunch of energy stored up. Didn't even know that. Oh yeah, you just gotta wait for the switch to get flipped. I think. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, man. It's I'm I'm blown I'm blown away by the fact of how much less food I thought I required. Although I am, I'm bumping up against my limit. Like I like now I'm like all right I'm like eating not enough right now. I can feel that. I'm like it's a good process to go through. Yeah, you're at a deficit. I'm at a deficit, dude. Are you I'm, trying to get cut? I think he's I'm trying, just trying to get to the next it's, level. It dude. Sounds like you guys are trying. Sounds to like you're trying to cut. Get where I am. Oh, you're on the next level? I mean, like, like as far as, like, uh, working out and diet are concerned. Mm-hmm. Being black. All the stuff that you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you, think, you think I'm not doing my heavy lifting? You think my blackness is doing my heavy lifting? You think my blackness no, is doing just, my heavy lifting? Just, <laughs> you think my blackness is doing my leg days, dude? Are you kidding me? Uh, no. I, think, I, do think I, it's I just think it would motivate Matt to change his diet. <laughs> I, do, I do think it's digesting those sweet. Sweet treats. Do you have any sweet? Are you off sweet treats? Uh, kind of, kind of. I'm finding different ways to get sweetness in in, in my life. Like, uh-huh. like, like I told you, like the yogurt bowl, wax that I had lips, with, with that honey. kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> agave. I had some agave. <laughs> yeah. So, what is that like for you when you're craving the cake house, specifically in simple carbohydrates? I mean, it depends on what. What's they, the What's the voice being like, Sid? We need agave on this yogurt, dude. We should have a sweet taste in our mouth right now. I mean, it, it's like. <laughs> I don't know why that made me dude, laugh my, so my, my brain is like, do you want to be one of those people that can't have donuts? <laughs> you don't want to be one of those people. Like, prove to yourself that you're not one of those people right now. By eating this donut. Yeah. That's prove the- to yourself that, like, do I, I swear to God, I've gone to Wawa, grabbed a glazed donut, opened it on the way out, bit it, and threw it, in, like, threw the rest in the trash. Got in my car, went to a different Wawa. You were chipping. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was like, I've done that at multiple Wawas in a night. So what the fuck are you talking about saying I'm getting where you are? <laughs> <laughs> is it, mine's mine's it's purely, not. it's not about that. I'm going dude, purely mind, mind, <laughs> mind exercise, yeah. dude. My body's obviously oh, going to form you don't my mind. You don't think my body and mind are in sync? Are you kidding me? My body is a representation of my mind. So why would you drive between Wawa's and take one bite of donuts? You think I'm not going to do that for my mind too? You don't think I'm going to like, listen, I don't, watch, I don't watch porn, but I dip in every now and again and take a peek. What? <laughs> I get what you're you saying. You gotta treat yourself. I, right? your, your lack of porn is yeah. very admirable. I Sometimes I'll put on porn, I'll do one stroke, and then I put it away. <laughs> Sid's, been, <laughs> Sid's, <laughs> Sid's been on no porn I, for yeah, a while. Yeah. Dude, I've Sid's never, been on no I've porn Then I go while. to a different computer in the house, I put on a yeah, little Sid porn. was on no porn before it was cool. <laughs> yeah. You were on no porn and, before it was cool. And I've never, I've never masturbated in front of porn before. That's the claim you're yeah. making. So wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so what do you do? So you have you all every now and again just pop up some porn and view it. Yeah, and, and then shut I'll it down. Put it away. Yeah, you ever check out get any myself gay porn? some distance? So you fluff yourself up a little. And then yeah, yeah. Sid, you ever watch gay porn? I've seen gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> if you just check it in and you're not yeah. jerking off, you might as well see what they're up I've to. Seen it. In, co- in college, I, in college, when <laughs> when everybody was showing each other gay porn, I thought you were trying to get him on one of those like G questions. You trying to G check? I thought you trying to G check. Yeah, I watched gay porn. Ew, dude. <laughs> Damn. Wait, so why? Why did you? Why did you watch? I mean, everyone's obviously had their boy porn. Just yo, in joke. college, when everybody like, yo, you see this? Like, look at this. You know, it's uh, that's how everyone. That's pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
There's a that is the Olympic flame of dudes. Just like someone just shows you gay porn for a second, you're fucking yeah, <sighs> yeah. And then you're like, why'd you bring this shit to me? <laughs> yeah. It's a funny move to make someone watch gay porn. It is pretty funny. Like want to put on someone's laptop super loud and walk away. Yeah, the people that got the people that got me got me good because it was uh, the room that they were in. There were three hot chicks in there, and mm. one dude, the man AJ from Houston, yeah. sickest jump shot I've ever seen, played on the football team. But uh, he brought me in there knowing that I was like. I thought two of those girls, like I was working on two of those girls. Yeah. So he he brought me in there and they were watching gay porn. So it was like, uh, <sighs> hold on, what? The yeah. girls are watching gay porn? Yes. Like they, honey, honey pot. He put yeah. on gay porn for the ladies. <laughs> I do. He no. That's I think, next level. I think G, they dude. they might have been watching it, but he brought me in. He was like, "Yo, Sid, you got to come see what these chicks are watching." You yeah, you got I mean? honey potted, like, dude. You yeah. almost got fucked. Yeah, dude. He's gonna Probably. he's gonna be like, oh uh, yeah, the girls got to get back and study. You can hang around though if you want. <laughs> Seen it a million times. How long was yeah. he? In the, what did he? Once you saw the gay porn, how did that go down? I was like, all right, said I'll catch you later. I'm gonna fucking check this out with these ladies. No, nah, I just I was like, ah, uh, and I just kind of. Where bounced. did he go? Oh, well, he stayed in there. I left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an intense training I, of getting pussy too to be like, no, nah, I'm gonna withstand gay porn. No, nah, no, thank you. Did I he think they were gonna be all that like, was up? I don't know. I don't know, but I felt like when, the way that he called me in, I felt like it was like if anybody could wingman me in the situation. I think Sid. I think he's the maestro, though. That's what I'm saying. He might be maestro. He's in there watching gay porn with yeah, two chicks. He was trying to entice you. He later. obviously set this up. This guy set yeah. this whole thing up. Chicks he aren't could, walking around. Like, I'm gonna put on. He was like, "Yo, ladies, check this shit out. This is crazy." <laughs> Yo, he was. He was just on like a, ni- a ninth level of gay. I've never even considered that. Just because like, girls are like, "Yeah, I watch gay porn." And you yeah. roll that into like put on regular porn, fucking <laughs> what the hell. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty funny too, and it's own. We're already we being like so it. crazy right now. We might as well watch fucking regular. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know threesomes. How about threesomes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah, guy yeah. did that after you left. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think I think like I think the girls. It was it was kind of fucked. I kind of fucked myself in that situation because I, they were offended by the way that I was like, uh, no, thank you. you yeah. Know? So it was like I, I guess I didn't play my cards right, but I don't need all the pussy. Did I did I ever Maybe, tell you guys the yeah, story of the you time? Did the right thing? Did, did I tell you the story of when I I pranked Rainy with gay porn at no. the hotel? Do you guys no. know this story? No. So there was a, we were staying at a what time were we at? Oh, we we'll uh, close this do this story. Yeah. Hour eleven. All right, I'll tell a fast version of it. Yeah. Yeah. So we were staying at uh, this place called Citizen M in uh, the Bowery, and it's like very small room type place. So it's like we could actually afford it. So we get rooms next door to each other and we're, we're checking in there for the first time. And the only, the only thing that you have to control your TV is an iPad that's on like a dock next to your bed. So I get into my room yeah. first and I notice that before Mike gets upstairs. <laughs> so I meet him in the hallway. I go into his room and I take the iPad with before he gets a chance to see it. Like he's putting his bags down. He's taking off his jacket and shit like that. Uh-huh. And I pocket his iPad. And if you're looking at the, the side, it just looks like... A, an iPhone dock. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh fuck. So from the hallway, I scroll through like the selections for his uh, television. Yeah. Until I get to pornography, they have an entire gay porn section. What? And so I just pick one at random, and then I turn the tel- the volume on the television all the way up. <laughs> and there's no buttons on the TV <laughs> <laughs> to do anything about. What did he do, dude? He starts freaking. <laughs> Why was he? He started freaking out, and then to come out into the hallway to tell me about it, he had to open the door, and the sound from the gay porn goes all the way up and down. Just fun. like, oh yeah, oh yeah, what? <laughs> and just loud like slurping noises and shit. And uh, um, he's like, "What? Did you do this?" And I go, "Mike, how could I possibly do that?" And that's all I had to say. And he goes. What the fuck, man? And he calls down to the front desk. <laughs> he calls down to the front desk. Oh, and he, goes, he goes, yeah, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but my my TV's blasting gay porn. <laughs> and they're like, well, turn it off. He goes, how? And they go, well, you have to use the iPad. He goes, there's no iPad. <laughs> And so they go, okay, we're going to set someone up. So Mike's just sitting on the corner of his bed waiting for someone from the hotel to come up to turn off his gay porn. 
So I go, okay, man, I don't want to be here when this happens. So I'm going to go downstairs. I go downstairs to the lobby and just wait for him. What? I wait for Because I don't want to be. I, I'm going to crack up. Oh if they God. get up there and they go, oh, there's no iPad. I And they look at me. He'll go, okay, dickhead, hand me the iPad. So I was just like, all right, dude, I'm going to get. I'm going to go downstairs for a minute, man. I can't. I can't. I don't want to be seen with you. So the hotel sends someone it's up to the room. It's just diabolical, dude. The, the person gets there and they can't do anything because the iPad's not in the room. I have it outside of the hotel. So he's watching Gate so 4 he with now, a stranger. He's on a radio just like, yeah, there's no iPad in here. I don't know what to do. As Gate 4's blasting them always. Oh. And then, uh, oh my God. At least, at least he got to be like, see? They, eventually see? they just like turn it off or, and turn it back on or something like that. And, oh, fuck. Or they, they keep, unplug it. They, <laughs> yeah, I, I came back up after the guy had left and Mike was in the room by himself and I hand him the iPad and he goes you fucking dickhead there <laughs> someone is already coming back up and I'm gonna have to say that I found this they're not gonna break <laughs> <it>. <laughs> oh, and, then no. I, and then I went to bed did he uh, take it as a funny joke oh yeah of course he did it's true rainy. yeah true man god that's the fucking <laughs> funniest shit yeah <laughs> let's just do, just head into the Patreon yeah, all yeah, yeah, man. yeah let's just do that. Right. that's so fucking fantastic awesome <laughs>